Thomas's day off. The engines on the island of Sodor were always very busy. They liked being busy. And no engine liked being busy more than Thomas. But sometimes Thomas also liked to have a day off. One autumn morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. He had important news. A new diesel engine has arrived on the island, he boomed. His name is Dennis. You must all help him to get to know the Sodor Railway. And Thomas, added Sir Topham Hatt, you have been working very hard. Today, you can have a day off. Thomas was very pleased. First, I will have a long washdown, Thomas chuffed cheerfully. Then I shall go to Bluff's Cove. On his way to the washdown, Thomas saw a diesel he had never seen before. The diesel was huffing and puffing. Hello, Thomas tooted. You must be Dennis. What's the matter? These troublesome trucks are too troublesome. I can't shunt them. It's my day off, whistled Thomas, but I'll help you. This made Dennis very happy. Dennis watched Thomas biff and bump the troublesome trucks into line. All done, puffed Thomas. It was hard work, and he was tired. Thank you, Thomas, oiled Dennis, and he watched Thomas chuff away. Soon, Thomas was covered in bubbles. Shiny and bright, shiny and bright, that's what I'll be to start my day right, he chirped cheerfully. Dennis wasn't cheerful. Dennis was lazy. He didn't want to deliver his freight cars of tiles. Then he saw Thomas. Dennis had an idea. He would ask Thomas to help him again. Help! Help! Dennis called weakly. Thomas slowed down. I don't know how to get to the schoolhouse, Dennis groaned. Don't worry, Dennis, Thomas puffed. I'll show you the way. Dennis smiled. His trick had worked. So Thomas showed Dennis the way to the junction. The schoolhouse is further along that track, wished Thomas. Dennis watched Thomas puff away. Dennis had wanted Thomas to take his freight cars for him. Suddenly, Dennis had another idea. He blasted his horn again. Then again. Thomas heard the noise. He was worried. Dennis watched Thomas come back. His new trick had worked. Now Dennis would pretend to have something wrong with him. Hell, Dennis cried. I'm overheated. You'll have to shut those freight cars for me. Thomas knew it was his day off, but he still wanted to help. Don't worry, puffed Thomas. I'll find another engine to help you. On my way to Bluff's Cove. Dennis was cross. He wanted Thomas to shunt his freight cars. Dennis decided to leave his freight cars. Then another engine will have to take them, he thought. So Dennis raced away. He didn't care about the tires. He didn't care about Thomas. All he cared about was getting far away from his work. His wheels were spinning faster and faster. Then there was trouble. Help, called Dennis. Help! Help! But this time, there was no one there to help. Thomas arrived at a signal. Percy had some important news. 
The workmen are waiting for Dennis to bring the tiles to repair the school roof. The children can't go to school until it's mended. And no one knows where Dennis is, Percy added. I do, wished Thomas. He's broken down. I must go back to help him right away. Thomas quickly found Dennis. Thomas was very surprised. I thought you broke down at the junction, wished Thomas. And where were the freight cars of tiles? Dennis looked very shamefaced. I tricked you, said Dennis quietly. There was nothing wrong with me at the junction. I just didn't want to pull those heavy freight cars. I'm a really lazy engine, moaned Dennis. Dennis's wheels wobbled, and his diesel oil dripped. Now Thomas could see that Dennis really was in trouble. So Thomas decided to help one more time. I'll pull you back onto the tracks, Thomas puffed. Then I'll be your back engine. That way we'll get the tiles to the schoolhouse in double quick time. Dennis smiled his biggest smile ever. Dennis and Thomas finally pulled into the schoolhouse station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. Dennis, you have caused confusion and delay, he boomed. Dennis felt bad. Thomas has shown me that being a really useful engine is much better than being really lazy, Dennis wheezed. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Thomas was pleased too. Thank you, Thomas, Dennis hooted. From now on, I will try to be a really useful engine. <laughs>